Hot. Liz Truss reaches a power deal. Brussels fall destroyed to the crisis spreading throughout EU. Opponents of Brexit were proven wrong once again after Liz Truss hosted the foreign ministers of all three Baltic states, underscoring Britain's credentials as a key player on the world stage, a campaigner said. Where's the proof that our Brexit dreams are waning? I think Brexit is going well as expected, given the pandemic. But the Remainers are using COVID as an excuse to pin on Brexit. How gullible can the EU lovers get? I won't ask how low. They scrape the bottom of the barrel every time. Brexit Britain continues onwards and upwards. Thank you to the 17.5 million sane patriots. Five countries in Europe hoped to join the EU over 10 years. EU rejected them, so they started their own works. EU got jealous and tried to persuade one country to abandon their plans. They rejected the EU. Hence the UK can do free trade deals with five countries in Europe that do not have to listen to the cesspit. One expert said that, I wish the UK had just walked away on WTO terms and got on with trading with the rest of the world. The UK has new trade deals that can make the EU redundant. People should just stop buying anything produced or manufactured in the EU. Yeah, good one. But the way it's going, the EU would need the UK more than the other way around. How to upset the EU and all their moaners in one go? We don't buy French trash. We don't need or want to deal with them. The UK is the powerhouse of Europe, as it has been for hundreds of years. We are a superpower. Von der Leyen is planning to send in her Euro army into Poland, but they ask if they wear flip-flops and white socks along with their packs of Frankfurters. Well worth your salary, Liz. It's great the UK wants to support NATO, human rights, and democracy. The only thing the EU can protect is the inefficient practices of its workers and industries at the expense of all the other EU nations. The UK, however, apart from being a fully paid up member of NATO, unlike, say, Germany and France, but it also has a viable military and a nuclear arsenal. Bonnerline once warned member states, countries as they have sh used to be known, not to dare talk directly to the sovereign UK. I guess this is just further evidence that the bloc is failing. Remember when Euro turds said the UK could collapse the following morning? Remember, they said a lot of things. It's hard for them to see a country taking back control and their little dream puff-ups and smoke. This story really confirms the sex of Brexit Britain. We are moving forward in top gear, while the EU is stuck in reverse gear, constantly going backwards. How about you? What do you think about this issue? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section and we can discuss. If you find the video good, please don't regret one like and share them. I will continuously update the latest news in the next videos. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you.